Hello everyone and welcome back to my Colonization 2.5x series in Kerbal Space Program 1.3.1. In this episode we're going to begin with expanding our Minmus station with two new modules. So let's get started with the Duna 6 rocket here and run the launch script. Okay, we have ignition and launch. And after this I want to add uh, trust modules to our moon station so basically the main solar trust will be added that's gonna be a little bit more complicated because of the maneuvers necessary to add the trusses to it of course we don't have like a shuttle arm well actually it'd be more complicated with a shuttle arm but uh, yeah we're gonna have to do some interesting maneuvers and I'll show you that assembly because we don't have RCS and mod propellant on the trusses themselves so uh, basically there's sort of a bus, a little uh, thing to carry the trusses, a little tug if you will, but it's, uh, the tug is just an uh, additional stage. Not even really a stage, you'll see what I mean. It's uh, it's really tiny. And it has to conduct all the maneuvers to attach the trusses to the station. Okay, we have booster set. Okay, looking for fairing set before the first stage runs out, otherwise things get a little bit complicated. Okay, good timing, just barely. Off go the fairings. Uh, we've got a little bit of heating on the Ford module, but that should alleviate soon. In this case, the two modules both have their own fuel. Okay, well, the inner stage got destroyed by the decoupling, but uh, we're a go on our J2X engine. And we've got plenty of time to apoapsis. us. We don't actually have any way to generate power on this, I've just noticed. Um, we do have a thousand electric charge. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hmm. That was bad planning on my part. We do have mob propellant, but no electric charge. Well, at least this isn't uh, realism overhaul, in which case a thousand electric charge would definitely not get us very far. It's carrying a lot of dirt and fertilizer to help make food, hopefully. This is a uh, Pioneer Logistics module. This is the module that will contain the fertilizer and dirt. Probably didn't need to carry a full load of it right now, but but we are. No inventory in the KIS container right now. Okay, we're just sort of uh, maintaining a very low thrust as we coast here. It'll probably shut it down eventually, but we might actually make orbit before it does. We'll see. It's trying real hard not to have to shut down. Okay, well anyway, it shut down and we are coasting. Oh, okay, okay, it needs to stop using RCS, but we are in orbit. Let's close that. We are now suddenly spin stabilized. Um, let's plot for Minmus. Let's not accidentally go to the moon. Um, timing wise is not great. Uh, I guess we'll just go with uh, mid-course adjustment instead of trying to do a off-plane transfer. And we have plenty of Delta V in the J2X stage to handle this maneuver. Electric charge though, bit of an issue. So to save ourselves from having to start all over again and slap a panel on, of course there's no cost because this isn't career mode, so we, it's just a matter of wasting time, I'll just go to the tracking station to time warp over there. Okay, here we go. The engine does replenish the electric charge, so there's that going for us. Okay, we are going to make orbit around Minmus, and rather than wait for the measly reaction wheel we have in here, or use the RCS, I'm just gonna puff the engine a little bit. Okay, well, let's see. 
Still going lower on the separation at closest approach. Uh, okay, about seven kilometers will be it. Let's just get over there. I have uh, realized that I have another problem. There's no actual power in this unit at all. So... It's going to cause complications for docking now, isn't it? Hmm. We may have to send a tug out here, basically, is what I'm thinking. There's no power in here either, I think. Uh, let's see, there is a controller on here. But, well, it's got a capacity of 30 electric charge. Suppose that might be just enough for us to do what we need to do. Then again, even right now, our electric charge might not be enough. We'll see. Well, we could just dock the whole thing to the station first and then think about everything. Okay, well, let's check on what the station can do for us here. Let me kill the rest of the velocity here and then we'll take a peek to see if it can save us because our electric charge is down to 130 and we're draining 0.5 per second. I think this is currently perfectly symmetrical. Let me see. No, uh, wait. Yes, I think it's symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which side we attach the module on. Well, in theory, if I don't take too long, we'll dock before we run out of electric charge. Hmm. But we're going pretty fast, and I have to slow down eventually. Uh, I told the other side to kill rotation. I don't know what it's doing, but it's definitely not doing that. It uh, seems like it's rotating. Okay, we have contact. Um... Uh-oh. It's slipping. No, come on. Come on. Oh, great. Oh, we're running out of electric charge here. And we will have run out of electric charge. Oh! Okay, we've docked. Jeez. Good, because the other side definitely ran out of electric charge there. Oh, man. Okay, well, now we've got uh, more complications, because this is supposed to be on this side, that's fine, but this other module has to be on the opposite side. Um, and we can only store 30 electric charge in it, in here. Well, one dodgy maneuver after another. We're going to undock here. Well, not the preferred way of doing things, having the station dock to the modules, but... This is what I get for not putting extra solar panels on, though, you know, it'll save us the trouble of having to take them off later, I guess. Because we don't want excessive part count on the station. Well, there seems to be something going on between the docking ports, but they aren't meshing quite right. Well, we're right on the docking port, so I guess it's a rotation we need? I hesitate to switch to the other side, but the other side can probably do rotation better than this side can. Oh, it's got no electric charge. We better be able to do it with this side. Okay, well... I'm just trying to see if any rotation will help bring these things together. Looks like they're getting closer. Oh, the camera's not cooperative there. I mean, we're, we're right on it. It's just the peculiarities of how these docking ports work that's stopping us from really doing it. There's a passive, there's an active, so that's not a problem. We're not like... Um, having a problem with that. 
Uh, might be a problem that the way I've attached this converting mechanism to this tank, maybe the tank is getting in the way. Yeah, I don't know about this. I'm going to separate off this. Uh, it doesn't have any electric charge anyway. Uh, well, if I can send that, I doubt I can't. No, I can't control it like that. Okay, I mean, because it doesn't have electric charge. First of all, we might want to have a Kerbal, send a Kerbal over to EVA to slap solar panels on that. We'll probably have to rescue it with a rendezvous and an EVA. It's not docking to the station. So... And if it's not docking to the station right now like that, probably it's not going to dock to anything else and it's actually that the container the uh, collider is getting in the way of the docking port. That's my best guess. Or I could do that. And no, no. It's going to float away. And we're just going to have to deal with that. Okay, so part of the mission successful, part of the mission a bust right now. We could have had that just stick on to the, to the station on this side, but... Probably we can't redock to it now. It was docked in the VAB to this docking port, but I don't know if we can redock it to this docking port given the trouble we're having with this one, which is identical. So, all right. Well, we'll work up a mission to solve this problem, but perhaps not immediately, because I've I spent enough time looking at this thing. I want to get on with our moon station mission, and then we'll get back to this afterwards. Okay, so here we are with the trusses for our moon station, the smelt station, and let's get things started. I've changed the script up a little bit, and so our fairings will decouple later, and hopefully that will avoid conflict with the staging of the, sec the second stage start. So we'll see. Okay, and off we go. So this will involve three separate dockings and after what happened last time, not exactly thrilled with that prospect, but at least the way that the docking ports are placed, they're not like clipping into another module, which I think is what caused our Minma station not to be assembled properly. I think it's because we were clipping it into that one container. This will have no such problems. It will, it will have other problems. Looking good here. Yep, definitely a nice... Nice launch here. Let me just drop the HUD for a bit. Okay, booster separation. And that's fine. Okay, we have staging as planned. And the J2X has lit and fairing separation will happen afterwards I believe at 64 kilometers this time which is good because it's still a little bit red here there we go fairings have released it's still throttled down because we totally don't need all of the thrust from this engine to make orbit right now there's still some overheating indicators, even though we waited a little bit longer before separating the fairings. But anyway, this is our payload. This is the truss carrier here. Ooh, that one is really red. Uh-oh. Hmm. Anyway, um, so this will attach to the station on this and act as sort of a docking hub. And the trusses will attach here and here. And then of course the other two assemblies are the trusses and they will dock using these docking ports onto this and yeah it's a little bit complicated to maneuver this the bus is just this thrust plate multi-adapter and these mod propellant tanks and uh, these trusses with uh, RCS ports on them to try and uh, the trusses extend all the way up here to try and reach the point where the uh, above the center mass. The center mass of all this is around here somewhere 
and so we've got RCS ports here and here around the center of mass. That's the best that I could do without uh, some sort of extendable RCS ports, which exist, of course, I just don't have them here. Uh, the trickiest docking is probably going to be this port, but we'll see. Obviously, we shouldn't be lacking uh, electric charge this time. We could always extend one of the huge solar panels, but we also have lots and lots of batteries. Certainly, for the transit to the moon, we'll just extend a solar panel or two. Okay, once again, we're nearly in orbit on shutdown. Uh, periapsis of 84.7 would bring us into space, and we're just shy of that, and we're coasting to apoapsis to round it out. Okay, let's turn off the RCS there. The launch program, program has concluded. 140 by 125. We've sort of got a spin stabilization here. Let's get a solar panel out. Okay, here we go. Our delta V figure here is a little bit complicated because of the staging and what we're controlling from. We definitely do not have 5,000 meters per second there. Let's say if we control from here instead. Nah, it depends on the root part. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, on to the moon. Okay, we are in Mooner SOI and I don't see any problems, so we're just going to proceed. We're actually pretty close to the station right here. Just happened to be. We'll need to actually catch up, which is somewhat inconvenient because it's easier to go into a higher orbit and let the station catch up than to go into a lower orbit right now. But not a huge problem. Well, we can certainly send much more to the moon than this payload on the Duna 6 rocket. So, as far as our payload mass is concerned right now, we're talking about 20 tons. I think the Minmus payload was more than that, like 24 tons or 27 tons. But either way, we could have sent much more. Okay, I've basically brought it in to park about 600 meters away from the station. I've got to retract the solar panel now. We've got 12,000 electric charge, and we're going to separate off from the J2 stage. So... That's the decoupler, and now things get a little bit hairier, so we'll find out. Okay. All right, we are controlling from the right part. I wonder if we have enough electric charge here to deorbit. Yeah, I think so. Um, we'll need to puff the engine a little bit to... Okay, but not bonk into that. Be careful. Okay, it is going to deorbit now. Good. That will be disposed of. And now RCS on. Okay, we are closing. But it doesn't say that the separation at closest approach is particularly close, which is weird. Probably that's wrong. Uh, maybe we can go a little bit faster then. Ah, okay. It wasn't wrong. It's just that we're not going fast enough. Let's go with that. Now we have to switch over here, and the port where that's going to attach to first is this one. So we need to decouple this and do the same whole deorbit thing. This does have electric charge. So decouple, switch. Um, this is not the one that just decoupled. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is the one that just decoupled. Let's hope there's still electric charge. What the heck is that? No, I don't want that. Okay, um, right. Okay, this has deorbited. Yep, there it goes. It's flying off there. And we're going to have to get our orientation right. So, this carries the trusses. And we need to make sure that this is pointing up relative to the rest of the station. And I think 
uh, up is where that solar panel is, and judging from the little number tags on these modules, I think that's fair. And also here is where the airlock is supposed to eventually be. And at the bottom node, which I hope is not going to be obstructed by the hitbox on this part, is where another module is going to hang off. Same here. Well, it looks like the RCS placement is doing pretty well for this docking maneuver, and this was the tough one in terms of the positioning of the RCS ports. The others are sort of uh, front on. Should be a bit easier. I think it's sort of negotiating with that docking port. Let me make sure. That's past. Okay, yeah. Um, is this good enough? Is this. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's how it should be. Okay. So. Let us decouple from here. Okay, switch over here. Um, control again from this position. Back off carefully, because otherwise we'll knock the RCS struts. Okay, trying to be very patient here. Everything is looking good so far. We're pretty well off on the mod propellant. Okay, we have some magnetism. Hmm, well, we're still in that sort of same situation that we had before, where I feel like it should be meshing together, but it's not. Active, passive. Get Turn that off. Let's just have SAS. I'm just going to rotate until it does something, I guess. Oh, that's pretty close together. Come on. Okay, there we go. This stuff, really picky. All right, so that's attached. Let's bring in this solar panel. Retract. Okay, and we decouple this truss from here. I feel I should be pulling away at this point. I don't know. That says set as target. Um, well, let me set it as a target. And I'm backing away with respect to the target, but it's not doing it. Control from here. Okay, it feels like we're caught on. So I'm gonna risk time warping. Okay, yeah, we're drifting off now. Okay, and hopefully we won't rebound back or something weird. Okay. Crisis averted. Controlling from here now. Okay, definitely seems like we need to rotate I'm going to rotate it this way, even though I'm pretty sure the way I designed the truss, it would have been rotated the opposite direction. In other words, it'd have these facing the same way as those. But right now, that would risk this bus portion hitting the station. So I'll just pass on that and hope it'll all look right and attach properly. Okay, well, we have attached. That was simple enough. Okay, well, uh, that doesn't have much room for mod propellants. I'm wondering if I can add some of this mod propellant to the station so that we don't waste it, because we are going to take this off and deorbit it. But I'm, I'm thinking that we're not going to be able to do much. So we'll just fill that uh, tug up. I had planned this orientation, but we we are intending to have an airlock over here. I hope that doesn't get too 
too much interference from the solar panels. It didn't seem to in the SPH, but looking at it right now, seems odd. Okay. Here we go. Control from here while we can. We do not have much electric charge. Hmm. Once again, it seems to be caught. Um, not sure why. So that says set as camera, uh, set as target, not set as camera, set as target. All right, well, I'll time warp it away. Just make sure it's clear. Oh, but it's electric charge is diminishing. All right, um, uh, orbit retrograde. And let's do this quickly. Okay, forward. Come on, come on, before the electric charge runs out. Okay, electric charge ran out, but uh, just in time we had a negative periapsis, so all is well. Okay, let's turn off our CS here and extend our solar panels. Oh, that's why I wanted this one facing the opposite direction. The radiators are on this side. That's not great. Actually, I don't know whether it's worse to have the radiators facing the station or ra radiators going upward. Probably it's better to have them just poking upward, but there is a docking port here. They're not really interfering with anything. Either way seems to be all right, except maybe opening this radiator would interfere with that airlock. We'll open it for now. Also, if the radiators tilt too far, they'll interfere with the solar panels. No, I think it actually rotates fine. Okay, let's get this into sunlight and see how it looks, since this one at least was successful. Now, we could have saved those uh, modules we deorbited and tried to turn them into um, parts, but I didn't have the room to store the parts, nor any Kerbal to do uh, stuff like that, so... Okay, so there's our station around the moon right now, looking pretty good. Now, let me think about what we can do as far as our station around Minmus. All right, if we take a look at the uh, troubled module here, it does have this docking port on this side, this Hoyo docking port, and that seems to be fairly clear, even though uh, this one, the passive common berthing mechanism is obstructed, I think. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the passive one is obstructed. The active one is on the station side. So what we'll need to do is have a tug with a Hoyo docking port on one side and a uh, a passive docking mechanism on the other side, and hopefully that'll solve the problem. So let's send one of those over to Minmus. Okay, I've adapted one of our tugs and placed it on top of an Ariane 5, but we've changed this Ariane 5 a little bit. It's got an extra tank up here for this upper stage engine so that it burns longer. This is the Ariane 5T, T for transfer, because uh, as it was, the Ariane 5 didn't have enough fuel for for a transfer and I didn't want to put another stage on when this stage was already fairly efficient. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at its ISP in a bit, but let's get things started. Obviously the launch script has to be changed. I don't know if that's the best place to put the launch script. Let's put it in the upper core. Um, it occurs to me that I haven't auto strutted the payload and that seems to always be necessary these days. So. Let me uh, auto strut the heaviest part. Do that for this as well. Two parts is generally enough. All right, I'm throttled down. Let's edit Ari Ariane 5T, new thing, and copy from Notepad. Okay, 
uh, the trajectory might be off. We'll see what happens. Run Ariane 5T. Ooh, we can be on the boosters. Oh, the roll. Right. Forgot to fix that. But anyway, it's going up. Okay, getting ready for booster separation. And boosters are off. And we're still accelerating. I think we're gonna get staging before the fairings, so let me put it in that order. Okay, staging. Second stage is lit. Second stage is a lot of work to do. And we've sort of diminished its uh, thrust to weight ratio now. Hopefully it'll be alright. Okay, there go the fairings. And so does our tug. Now I didn't put the extendable RCS booms. Because I'm since this is going to be a permanent part of the station, I'm worried that they'll bump into things. So uh, we just have the normal RCS blocks and we'll have to make do. It'll be a little bit complicated, of course. We are about to make orbit here. It's throttling down. And let's see how it ends up. And 1,800 meters per second should be enough to transfer us over to Minmus. Maybe even capture into orbit around Minmus, hopefully. Oh, okay, well, we're coasting right now to finish off our orbit, even though we're technically in orbit right now, but it wants to circularize. Okay, orbit is complete, 125.7 by 125.1. And let's transfer over to Minmus. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, well, that's not quite where I wanted to be. Oh, but it's really touchy right now. Let's just get over to Minmus and then uh, fix things as much as possible. We've still got 281 in this stage. That's not enough, I think, to make orbit around Minmus, which means that the the little tug is going to have to use its own RCS to do part of it. Okay, that will use just about how much delta V we have left in this stage and will give us a rendezvous point with the wrong thing. Oh shucks. We don't want to have a rendezvous with the station, we want to have a rendezvous with that wayward module. Okay, and we actually need to decouple and RCS on. Now, rendezvous planner, please. And that's... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that's all right. You, you can just point that ways. All right, that's pretty good. 398 meters. It's a pretty good rendezvous. All right, and probably caps lock on here for the rest of the time. And we'll be controlling from that port to grab onto the module. Oh, shucks. Uh, no, I, I don't know. Did I neglect something? Oh. Uh, the docking port we need is attached to this side and there's no electric charge and that we can't dock to I was hoping not to have to send a Kerbal out I'm gonna cheat I don't care there's uh, no not difficulty just uh, infinite electricity I just wanna decouple thanks there's more pain and suffering than I need okay no more infinite electricity. All right, log that as a uh, cheat being used, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it adds some magnetism, that's why. Okay, let's roll to find out how it's gonna meet up, okay, like that, that's good. Can it uh, retract? Yes, we have retracted to a docking. All right, that's all sorted out with some shenanigans. 
And it's got RCS ports, I forgot about that, so we should be pretty well balanced for docking with the station. Let's hope so. So we're controlling from here for the rest of it. And our near target is the station. And we might as well boost up and let the station catch up to us. Make sure we're not bumping into the spent stage. Okay, RCS on and boosting up. And let's see what MechJib has to say about Rendezvous. Let me turn caps lock off for now. Okay, everything looking good. Our fuel is fine. We've got the module. This doesn't seem very much in line with that, does it? That's weird. It's showing us quite in line with that target, but we're obviously not. That seems wrong. Let's just verify control from here. Maybe we haven't actually... It's sort of showing the target there, but maybe we're not actually targeting that docking port. Uh, set as target. Okay, I think that's the problem. It was fooling us. As it does. Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay, slow down. Oh, we've got a bump that indicates we're not quite rotated right. Uh, well, let's see. Okay, I think it, yeah, there we go. It likes it that way. RCS off. Okay, let's get those solar panels in. We've got this sort of tug acting as an adapter module, but that's fine. That's better than having this new module floating in the middle of nowhere. So, to recap our module names. Um, well, obviously for the station around the moon, those are just the solar trusses and I didn't give them any special names. But uh, on this one, uh, this side is Cherry Garcia, and this side, the troublesome module, was Neapolitan. So, continuing with our ice cream theme for Minmus, because it looks like uh, mint ice cream. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So, ultimately, we were successful despite having to use at least one cheat in order to decouple the the Neapolitan module from its transfer stage. But other than that, I think it was a valiant effort and we are continuing on our way with these stations. I decided after the long delay between the previous video and this video that we'll just focus on the main project of building these three stations and get that done so that we've actually accomplished something before moving on to other things. I think that's probably wise. So. Uh, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.